live. Hello, Facebook. How are you? All right. All right. Here we are. You are here? We are here. We are on. Listen up. This is a live filming of nothing but... but the, the facts. facts. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, That's right. man, I ain't even on the... Uh... You got to sit forward a little yeah. bit. You know, you on this camera. You're on the main camera. You got to sit forward a little bit. All right, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, okay. So, you know, adjusting his mic to the left or right of your screen, depending on how you're seeing this, because this is reversed, is Simo. What's going on, everybody? How you guys doing, fellas? And you know he's from? From More of Everything Media, man. More of Everything Media. And then, of course, to my immediate right or left, depending on how you're seeing this, because this is reversed, Just is... You know, Franklin G. F. to the digital student, Verley, president of the counter for just sitting down for an extended version of nothing but the facts. We've been out for a minute. The heat has got us, but we're back in place right after Ramadan. And then sitting right here, right here. full belly, is your ever faithful filmmaker, producer, director, editor, Crazy D. And here we oh, are. Shit. So we want everybody to come in because it's nothing but the facts. We're going to be kind of candid because we're going to yeah, be looking yeah. this way or just looking amongst ourselves. But you're going to catch us. you have to scoot a little bit this way. Yeah, it's nothing but the facts, man. I'm in it, man. Okay, yeah, okay. I mean, as long as you're in it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, Franklin, tell them real quick what Nothing But The Facts Another day. is all about. Uh, nothing But The Facts is our podcast that we're trying to put together to keep us connected. To one of my favorite phrases, the larger black diaspora. We'll talk about things. Uh, we are based here in Las Vegas, but we're from all over the place. And uh, we just want to keep you connected, and we try to make sure we present nothing but the facts. Trying to talk about things from a black man's perspective, a black people's perspective. We got to get some women up in here, I keep telling you that, so we get all perspectives. But the bottom line is the podcast is trying to reach this intergenerational thing. As you see, where it got spread out. Everybody a little happy. They just got some chicken in, some potato salad. Yeah, beans, man. Yeah, you Delicious. know, so... Uh, we're just going to kick it and, uh, you know, let you know what's going on. I don't even know which way to look. I'm going to look over here. I look over there. Yeah, look over there. You know, we usually there. just look at each other. So just it's more like candid, right. you know. It's but, candid. you know, pull your phone up and make sure you link it. Go go to my page what and grab it and this? link it to your page. Where's your phone? I don't even know, man. Simo, link it to your page. Let them know they can see it on Christian. You know, I Facebook. Check oh, this out. Let me check oh, this man. out, man. man. YouTube.com slash Thornland Films, man. <laughs> Nothing but the facts. We, got, I mean? we got about like 10 episodes. No, no, they 11. They can check this out there. We got 11 Dang episodes. Look June. at that. You can check this out on YouTube, man. Anytime. Start streaming that. And um, they're going to get a... Uh, no, we gotta, we gotta keep that on Instagram the low. TV. Yes, Instagram yeah, we gotta keep that on the low. Keep that on the low. Watch, watch this on there. Well, it's an update. It's on everybody's phone. So watch this on there. It's coming. That's right. That's right. It's coming. Okay, so... All right. You know... A lot of things it's, to unpack. Man. It is. A, there are a lot of things. Yeah, you know, you don't have your mic in your head. Right, because because the fact that I'm thinking that I'm on <laughs> look, this, look, but here we are. Can you look, hear me? Let's look at this camera. Look at this camera. Look at this camera. Yeah, regular day. It's <laughs> chilling. It's crazy. Wait, 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 crazy. He had that Cane's chicken and, and that sauce and that potato yeah, salad, yeah, yeah, and now he's yeah, like got the itis, man. I'm actually trying to be a vegan. But anyway, the whole time. The whole time. And I was enjoying it. You know what? You know what? That I used to taste, Instagram live that, that taste with the uh, potato salad, though. It was good. That, 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 is good. A, that is a different taste. Usually, all they have is coleslaw. You know, that's what that taste. That, that's all they serve is the coleslaw. I, I just and like they that, had a yeah, special cane tea. sauce. But we're not advertising until they give us the endorsement. So skip all of what we said. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Chicken so, is chicken. So there's a lot of things to talk about. Yo, you let's know, go to the book. Mix. Write shit down. Yeah, we write the shit down. Let's go through it. Let's go through oh, it. Hold on, man. Let's get to the book. Because, you oh, know. Yeah, oh, yeah. We got the book, y'all. We're going to let you all uh, put it out there. Some of the stuff we missed. Or well, we've just been absent. Nice. Attending graduations. Nice. Thinking about things. You know, but, you know, there's some things been going on. So, I guess since it's June. Yeah. It is June. Yeah, June. And, and, and well, Juneteenth June. just passed. Juneteenth. We're going to get to yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Juneteenth. But when we celebrate, because we're going to go your way. Right. You yeah, know, cause music. It's, yeah, because it's music. black. Because it's Black Music Month. Yes, it's Black it is. Music Month. It is. And, um, you know. No, you know. Yeah, you know. You know that, That's a great celebration along with Juneteenth celebration. 
If anyone doesn't know about Juneteenth in Galveston, Texas, 1865, uh -oh. and the last slaves being freed. Many they, they, they were they, they didn't quite get the memo. No. They didn't get the text. They didn't get the Instagram. Mm -hmm. There was no instant message. They were, they were freed. Uh, been freed. Men and women for about three years. No, two, they, five, two, 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 two years. Two years, yeah. But in any event, you know, that's what it is, Juneteenth. We'll get to that. But while we celebrate the music, keep it current. Okay, we'll look music. back, you know, start the beginning of the month. You know who has the number one album? The Tither. Kanye West. And I told you. No, I told yeah, you. Yeah. I told you, you told that me. it did not matter what oh, Kanye West said. said. I told you. I told you. And anyway. Come on. Being that we what know. It didn't matter what he said. It mattered what he said. No, it mattered. But, but it mattered what he said about Trump. It. No, he said about slavery. You know, what? Mm -hmm. you know what? You got to go check out our past you podcast know, because past Kanye podcast. said yeah. it was a choice. The only people it was a choice for was the mm. white people who own slaves. Well, we can say 1750, we were 50-50 in the population. You know, after his comments, he said he went and changed the whole album. After that, that, he after changed his whole album. album. Uh, uh, what's his name? Um, Charlemagne, who had heard the album prior, he said this new Ye, this current Ye album, is, is nothing of what I heard like a month ago. So he changed up his album after his comments. He said he was going to talk about that in the song or whatever the case. But it's just, it's just another another sad point of, like, niggas being uneducated, man. Well, uninformed, because I know that he told me Uninformed, yes, uninformed, uninformed. He's working on some stuff. We're going to go to Montana to chill out or whatever. Uh, Wyoming, yeah. Boy, that's a real black place. I don't, I don't <laughs> think that he was uninformed. It's all for the albums. I, I, I really don't think so. I'm sad because that's and what that. people will document and say that they heard him say that. And that's the reference point that I take from it. Because what happened to the Kanye was the number one George Bush bashing. Now he's a Trump hugger? Come on, man. I'm not with none of that, well, man. No, no one, we weren't hugging him at the time that he, that he said that. We said, well, I, I, I appreciated it. I said that was good. But uh, most of us said, he's crazy. What is he doing talking against the president? That's what most of us did. And, they, and we ran well, for the hills. President Obama called him up, you know, jackass. Yeah. But at the same time, exactly. he is, what happened? Look at the de evolution of the tither. Look at that, man. This guy is was. Is there de evolution? Yeah, man. Or is it a evolution? I don't think it's evolution because some white people will hear him <laughs> and said that and quote him for that. And that would be their reference point but for that. Do we care what white folks think? We should care, yes. Why? Yes. Wait, wait, because wait, it wait, makes wait, a difference. Let me, let me ask you guys this first before we get into what white folks think. What did you guys think of the album? Did you guys hear some songs? I, I, I love Every minute oh. of that twenty-five minutes. <laughs> yeah, seven tracks, man. I wish I wish there was more, but it was good. My yeah, favorite I haven't song. I have heard like the that. whole thing. I haven't no? heard the whole thing. Oh uh, man, it, it it it's it's good, man. It's good. He, I he have has twenty-five minutes to devote to him. And he wait has, a minute, he and has then, some good music in there. I'll let him out of here. Wait a minute, and then on top of that, push your push a tease album. Every single record. I mean, it's just killing. Then he's got Nas out. I've heard the, the Nas, the, the one, Nas yeah. album. I, I walk in the morning now after finding a what a bad uh, what <laughs> what bad guy. You know, <laughs> but <laughs> but anyway, great album. I was walking to it. Incredible, uh, not for radio with him and uh, P Diddy, mm -hmm. Diddy, Mr. Love. Uh, Hello, it's been excellent a, record. Excellent it's, record. It's been the past what two months of like Kanye production, right? Kanye content. Right, we had his album. We had him and Cuddy's album. That's um, Cleveland's had, own. That's what I was about yeah, to say. Yeah, nah, nah, here is. we go. And we got Tiana Taylor's album just came out yesterday. His other artist, Tiana I mean, Taylor's banging. She's dope. Yeah, he, and, and oh yeah, we got uh, Pusha T. Of course, I like I like Ghost Town off of Ye's album. I like if you know you know from Pusha T's album. I haven't heard the Cuddy and and Ye album, and um, the Tiana Taylor. I haven't heard that one yet. The Nas, I haven't heard that one either. For a couple of hits too. I'm not into sitting there through a whole hour. I gotta just catch it when I catch it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Put, I'm put not. It on uh, I'm not definitely not spending any money on it, so I'm definitely not rushing to get it. But back to the tither. I, I don't believe him. I just can't believe all this stuff is rooted in the sense that he thinks he's a genius and all that. If he's a genius, he's an evil genius. He got the it. evil genius. The tither. Listen, got listen. I got nothing for the tither. Listen. All I know is we have had a tremendous Black Music Month, and in the middle of all the Kanye releases, 
there was a surprise release with Jay Z and Beyonce dropping their <laughs> third album. Incredible! Nah, I'm not here for it. No, 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 no. no. What? what? What do you mean by that? <laughs> Riff the riff. Oh, man, um, first of all, Jay did that to shit on Nas. <laughs> Nas' album came out the day before, and Beyonce and Jay's gonna drop a surprise album. I'm and the, the their new single that came out, man, it's too, you know what I'm saying? It's it's definitely the wave, but. Don't stop talking. Oh, no, no, I, I, lean, I lean back. That's why I'm out of it. I lean back. So lean forward. Yeah, I'm gonna lean forward again. But my back. <laughs> Do opposite of Joe. My back lean hurts. Lean forward. All right, yeah. Don't hey, be like hey, Fat Joe. Wait, lean forward. So we all can lean back because my back hurts on this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's saying the sofa's not cool. Lean forward, my back hurts. He's old, man. For a young man, he's old. He's yeah, old. Working a nice shift Fuck at the up. gym. Come on, brother. <laughs> you back is supposed to be in shape. Nah, I feel like that. Right it's here. a sweet <laughs> sound coming down yeah. on the night shift. Yeah. Oh, night shift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be for yeah. proud. That's a new single for Crazy D. You okay. get on the night shift. Okay, keep talking. Okay, anyway. <laughs> evermore, evermore, <laughs> evermore. Stop. But if you look at it, even in black music, we're talking about all this music coming out to change the direction. Just a minute, just for a minute, we got to pump the brakes. Because, you know, XXX, Tiscacion, Tiscacion, he's always on, 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 whatever it was. Tentacion. Tentacion, right? He's in his coffin, Lamborghini now. And they caught the guy. But all the fanfare for this cat. Now, I heard some of his stuff recently because it's pumped out. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. All right, so then I do a little bit more research. So this dude was wild on women, though. What's yeah. up with that? Yeah. He was wild on women for more than one, in more than one place. Yeah. So how are they comparing this cat with all the music that he has or left us? Because he was murdered. That's what I'm talking about. He was murdered. You know, that Southern Florida lifestyle. But he was murdered. And now they calling this guy like, you know, he was, he's saying, he's saying he was Tupac to you guys? <laughs> you know, Tupac to that generation? I mean, so I, he, I, he wasn't I, Tupac I, to me, but uh, go ahead, go ahead. You no, no, go ahead. Say, go yeah. ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I kind of, I kind of, to me, I feel like I have like a gist explanation, but I don't know. What do you mean? What do you let's mean? talk about it first because I, th I, I know what's going on. Like I can say it bluntly, but I mean, this is uh, this is what it is. The, nothing but the facts. I don't, <laughs> I don't believe that what he did in his personal life should have anything to do with what the he music. Does yeah, music sure it does. Because even his music, he talked about death. He's waiting for this. He's doing that. He's causing beef. Dude, that's not a, like a cool kind of like image, man. I mean, he and, and pa Pac, they weren't causing, or they were involved in beef, so but at the same time, they Pac, were... Pac didn't talk about death, and Biggie didn't yeah, talk know, about I death. I know, but that's the similarity. Death around the corner. That's the similarity. And uh, I know even with Pac being charged yeah. and convicted of rape and all that, but at yeah. the same time... Ready to die. That, that's the similarities? That's why they say this... This guy's rap wasn't like that, though. I mean, I don't know. How do we uh, for, for, I've heard it. Now you get it because because of his murder, you get to hear it. You know, as a, when we were talking about it, uh, I was saying, I was telling Simon, I told you that we're in the generation like how the people were when I was 25. Cause me and Pop were the same age when he, when he was murdered. And, um, you know, we're in that generation now that look like, who is this guy that, every, that they're mourning over? And when I was seeing all the flashes of the pictures and everything and seeing the videos come up and everything. I was like, this guy is like this generation's Tupac. I said that. You know, everybody, everyone's generation from James Dean, Rebel Without a Pause, all that, all those different people that came through, mm -hmm. every, every generation has something different that they click to. I give you that, but I don't, I, I ain't, I, I've heard his stuff recently. I ain't dancing to it. I ain't moving with I thought, it. I, I thought his moving. production was quite good. Yeah. I mean, the melodic tones and the reversing of, of instrument. I, I thought it, I thought it was good. It, it really set the tone of what he was talking about. Not to mention that to me, he was being emulated by uh, Takashi Tek Six Nine. Oh, that's fool. <laughs> As a fan, from what I saw from uh, uh, X was that when he, when he first came in to the rap game, had had his song. He was still in jail when his song popped off, uh, and then he got out. And then those charges, the, the beating women charges, I what they they were before he even got onto the scene. But then when he did, he stopped all that beef. He was one of the rappers that stopped all that beef quick. He didn't keep he didn't keep fucking around. He didn't keep starting beef. He stopped all his hmm. negative negativity, and then he started to post 
more about positivity. Even though his songs, yeah, his songs were were pretty like uh, depressing and, and suicidal, but at the same time, he he was just talking about doing good and like making making sure. If I he said if I die, I want my music to like change depressed kids' lives mm-hmm. because of my depression, all that shit. So he he kind of turned over a new leaf, and then just to see him get killed like that was crazy. When you would think somebody like Takashi Six Nine would get popped already for, for mm. fucking around. Cause let's so it's, it. it's it's crazy. Let's face it. we This generation here is in a depression mode. I think more in a depression mode than the Generation Xers it's, it's were, very which true, is man. my generation. You know why? Because the old generation just will not get out the way. The civil rights generation mm. will not get out the way and pass the reins on to the young people. So thus, the people who are in my age group Mm-hmm. Are saying, well, when are we going to get the rain? So it's kind of like moving in the way of this generation because we were never able to take the reins. We had to somehow fall into line mm-hmm. with mm-hmm. them. We had to wear a suit yeah. or something. Yeah. We, had to do that. we didn't wear a suit and we were out. And hip hop, listen to this, listen to this. I would never think that in 2018 that hip hop wouldn't be played on black radio, that it would be now. Uh, taken over and co-opted by people who don't look like me and their records can play no matter how crazy they Uh act but our people when we act crazy we even uh, put them down and talk against I would have never thought that people who were hip hoppers would allow it to be a time where hip hop wasn't the dominant music real hip hop and I'm not talking about just hip hop from New York mm-hmm. I'm talking about southern hip hop I'm talking about west coast hip hop I'm talking about all the different regions hip hop I would never think that that wouldn't be the predominant music playing on the radio getting everyone in the mm-hmm. black community paid I would never think that hip hop's not black anymore the people get paid you, you, you go to events white people in it bro what I'm saying is that's fine but what I'm saying is the radio, okay, it's fine. You can be a internet person and make uh, all the uh, popularities you want, but you do want to hear your song played on the radio. And I would never think that people who came through hip-hop, who were hip-hoppers, would allow for radio to be nothing but old school. One day, all of those old school people are going to die off. We're going to be listening to the shy. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the shy lights, okay? Nothing wrong with the dramatics. Nothing wrong with the stylistics of all the all the groups. You know what I mean? The Delphonics. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay. There's nothing wrong with '80s music. You know, Sade. Nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with Gerald LeBert and LeBert. There's nothing wrong with it. But 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 there you go. But give me the shout out. The predominant music for the last thirty years has been hip-hop music, and you wouldn't be able to tell it by the gatekeepers holding the keys at the radio stations. You just wouldn't. Well, I believe that your music is evolutionary anyway, but, you know, what are you going to do? You can't hold back where the sales are, and that's what generates what's played on the air, sales. That's so, not true. Yes, it is. No, no, it's not. Okay. Because what's selling now is definitely an Internet-based thing, and you don't even hear, like, this guy... Uh, pronounce his name again because I X, can't X, we'll call him X X okay, okay. <laughs> with, with X his guy. music was popular and these kids are up here crying yeah. and upset but you wouldn't even know and for that not to have been playing on the radio you can't play for stuff people on the radio. to hear you, you know you can clean every look it's you could play NWA but you could play NWA in the 80s it's the same it's the same yeah, thing each no, generation I, I it's, it, it kind of goes both ways yes of course sales labels are going to let's make money and then the radio's going to play the, the radio is going to play the most popular hottest song right now if it's popular get a lot of, it, it doesn't have to be selling it could get a lot of streams 30 million streams on his Spotify account then the, yeah they're, they're playing it because it's popular so that's that's, make that's what I feel like radio. That's what I feel like when you said pass like passing on the reins and, and you feel like you said you feel like your your peers, you know, they they still waiting for them. Generation X. Yeah, still they, waiting. <laughs> yeah. Well baby you know, are still holding on. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know it's it what's funny is like my peers, we we see it all come and go like that. We our attention span is kinda like goes left and right, left and right. So I think when it comes to waiting for for the reins, like people, I, they at least have it once. They have they have a chance. They have a popping 
hit single. Those one-hit wonders, they got to pop a hit. You had your range, now that's it. You had your one-hit wonder. Or, you know, you, you've been you've been popular for this amount of time, but you're not, like, Beyonce and Jay level of when it comes to music or content or, you know, being a business owner. Mm-hmm. So no, I no. feel like people don't recognize that they had their range. They want more. We want more and more and more. We I mean, want more. I, I mean, like, the advances yeah. that the civil rights movements, movement made were good. But I blame the ones who, you know, there's a group of people who weren't involved in the civil rights movement, but then when it came to pass and these years passed and the civil rights movement, all of a sudden everybody walked with Dr. Martin Luther King. Well, and that's, and not that's not true, but you but you still keep this. Now, you were doing everything under the sun, and all of a sudden you are now holier than thou, and you're telling the other people. I told So I blame, I don't blame the civil, the actual 10 to 12 people that were actually running mm-hmm. the civil rights movement and the additional women that were the backbone of the civil rights movement who are countless uh, uh, unnamed people mm-hmm. involved in it. I don't blame them. I blame the ones who are pseudo fake phony who weren't really there but and they profited from it and then they can talk about yes I did this but they really didn't. Those are the same people who are judgmental towards the youth today and I blame them for they killed the leader, which we mm-hmm. had multiple leaders. They killed the leader, but we they are the ones that are holding back the reins from people. And when I'm talking about hits, Simo, I'm not talking about just hits and one-hit wonders. This should be something that has come from out of the street level. It was started to stop gangs. It was started to do mm-hmm. all that, right? It was, it was It's a culture. This culture should be permeating and everything, but there's people, pseudo people who are like, oh, we have to be holier than thou, but do you listen to the music to get the messages out of it? Like, when I listened to N.W.A. back in the day, when Cube talked about what a B, a B is a B, right? Mm -hmm. When he talked about that, right? My mother and father raised me to be, uh, to be a gentleman, right? But, Cube and them taught you what was happening in real life yeah. before you mm-hmm. got out there. So what I took was when I saw a B and B, a bitch is a bitch. So either poor or rich. I I articulate in the exact same pitch. You see, the title bitch doesn't apply to all women, but all women got a little bitch yeah. in them. Okay. <laughs> oh. So he was expressed yeah. by so, a crazy <laughs> thing. Uh, his and his own. <laughs> <laughs> so that informed me on what was going on and when I listened to his record and I applied it to what's going on there are some and there are <laughs> not that aren't some I and that's how you it. judge that's how you go true. through it so yeah. what I'm saying to you is this is just a sad thing and I blame it on those pseudo fake oh. civil rights people who really weren't involved but they're blocking it from us and thus in fact so thus so it, it, it's a continuum of the grading, the reason why the neighborhoods are like they are, which they call now are called hoods, and now and, and all the money is taken out of it, is a direct effect of what the civil rights people weren't doing, what the CBC wasn't doing, and all that, all those people, what generation do they come from, and how do you fit in with them? You got to put on the suit, and you got to be. Civilized and be under meritorious manumission. Oh, but we'll leave that right there. We'll leave that right there. But but so that's what I'm saying. So until they loosen the reins and let this take over, that you don't have to walk into a room with a suit on. I don't know if that's true. I don't know. You don't have to walk into a room with a suit. You don't have to walk into a room with a suit because Jay Z now he doesn't walk into a room. Russell Simmons never did, but that's another story. He's got problems. Yeah, wow. I was about to say, you're in trouble. You're in trouble. You're reaching for the stars on that one. <laughs> Talking about people in trouble. Hey, whatever happened to Cosby? We never saw him in the jumpsuit. We know he was found guilty. They're letting him stay home. Is His getting, wife is yeah, he's getting under a divorce. Yeah, that's to protect the money. But at the same time, he's, when are you going to jumpsuit? He's under house arrest until... I don't know, doesn't he have a hearing coming no, up? No, I have no idea. Right? You got to go there. The sentencing, yeah. They got to figure out how long you're going to get and where you're going to go. Yes, I think it's later in the year. Oh, he fired his whole team. Well, yeah. <laughs> he lost, so he might as well fire him. 
get a whole routine to he's get gonna you out. He's going to be in jail for the rest of his life, possibly. Wow, man. the cost is going down. That's man, huh? 80 years old, man. Going to jail for the rest Due to crime, you got to do some time. Mm-hmm. The cost is going down. That's bad. Then look at that. Well, let's go back to the pick. Trump, let's do it. 45, we ain't touch a punk. Let's touch a punk. <laughs> he said, you Negroes have to listen to your bosses because it's in the Bible. So the Jeff Sessions, you got work to live and all that kind of stuff. So they're saying that Negroes who are in the NFL will have to come out the locker room and stand and be present. <laughs> now he's saying they have to stand and be present. They, have, he, yeah, they, they just had an agreement that Bible? they could stay in the locker it's room. It's in the Trump Bible. 45. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, what, what, what chapter and verse? Well, the NFL the owners Negro? signed on to it and said that uh, you Damn. Negroes will follow suit and we will come out and we will stand. Damn. That's that. so, but they've had some, you know, Antoine Bolden and some of the NFL uh, league players who are already in the union uh, saying that maybe they don't, they don't know what's going to happen. So what you guys stands? I mean, you think that Trump was cool by coercing the NFL owners into making that statement that Negroes are on their teams and white people? But if you're on the team, you will stand out there in the locker room, and the NFL gave some teams the option not to come out. But do you think that the protest that Cal- Colin Kaepernick is still effective? Because they still lose the Negroes. The young kid just got shot in the back in New York, right? By, no, Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. By an officer who had just got sworn in 90 minutes before. He went on duty. No way. And uh, my question is, uh, where in the manual of the patty roller does it say that, oh, that's right, it is the manu- manual of the patty roller, but where in the manual of police uh, uh, jurisdiction or, or patrolling does it say that when a kid runs, you pull your gun out and shoot him instead of chasing him or doing whatever? When, 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 when does hurling bullets? When do when does hurling bullets uh, mean? You know, that's that's the way to stop a person from running. It's just thirteen. You just got on the job. And well, that's the first the thing call you came did? out. They said that they thought the guy had a gun, just to put the you know nothing but the facts. Okay, so he's running away. Jefferson, you want to be on TV? Get down, Jefferson. This is one of my dogs. Jefferson, get down. Get down. Yes. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Next week. Bye. <laughs> like really? He promised me a cameo. He, he's uh, he's running away. It's not like he's looking back at you. You mean he's not a threat? He's not possessing a threat. Theoretically, he's trying to get away from the situation. Situation? Is that how to say it? Situation. I think so. But they still shooting folks down. So the NFL players, oh, yeah. I guess, they have to make the decision. I myself would stay in the locker room. Mm-hmm. At this point. I want to give a big shout out to the people I know in my family who used to go to the Nick games. They didn't stand. They said they were making their own little protest. You know what? You know what? It's a it's a uh, double edged sword. What I'm going to say here: sword, sword, however you want to pronounce it. Tomato, tomato, potato, potato. It cuts. It cuts. Double edge. Listen, I've already talked about the uh, the pseudo civil rights people. Oh. There's a whole nother group of people who follow the pseudo civil rights people who try to act like them and be like them and have this moral holier than thou thought process. And I think there's a disconnect in people because you know the new Superfly movie came out. Oh, who told you about that? All right. Go back and the, check out our earlier podcast. All right. The new told Super, you. The new Superfly movie came out and it is a Great movie. Hold up, hold up, Bukanda. Wait, wait. What happened to Mr. Bukanda? Bukanda. Bukanda is make believe. <laughs> Superfly uh, is real. Super Superfly <laughs> is not real. Superfly is, is no. Superfly is a dramatization of what's happening in the streets, told through the through the written thought process of Director X. Okay. okay. No, it's a remake. It's a, it's a remake of a whoa, movie. Whoa, 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 wait. It stays. It keeps the same iconic, the same mythos. Oh boy! But it's up to date and it's modern right. now. If you remember in the and this this is this is my point. Let me let, oh, me, yeah. let me preface it first I'm that people are always talking about don't it was black exploitation. Do, do people know where black exploitation actually came from? Why it was coined in the first place, we'll come back to that. But they say it's black exploitation, and that 
the youth and all that shit and watch it. So then these are these same the pseudo people, too, same pseudo people who I've described before, mm -hmm. and they're saying the youth shouldn't watch Superfly. However, had they watched Superfly, the original movie, and they and the police hassle the Mac. I mean, excuse me, it's not Superfly, Please. it's the Mac. Okay. I, I, I'm mixing up movies, but mm -hmm. if they had watched the original Mac, this is another so-called black sports movie. If they had uh, uh, watched the original <laughs> Mac, that's right, that's right. Man. Richard Pryor and Max time. Julian, the the cops hassle them down <laughs> to the street corner, and they say, "Okay, we're gonna let you, we're gonna let you go. Run, run, nigger, run." Right? They said, they said, and then we're going to get them, Goldie. But you know what he did? I'm not running nowhere. And then as they stood there, so people have to stop running. If if, if, if the people really cared about their people, they would let them watch uh, Sweet Back's badass oh, song. Oh, man. They would uh, let the them watch. That. So, shh, that's, that's the one that kicked it off. And in the mm. end, what happened? Okay, right. so he was Nori, well, the original uh, Nori, oh, on the run, eating and getting away. Come on, man. Okay, he walked so, around with his penis in his hand the whole movie. So that's that's, that's not the image that's of a black man. Yes, it did. That's not true. Remember he said, "Hold my hat." Melvin, Melvin, hold my people. hat. Melvin, bad people. See, people can criticize, but they were putting gems in those films. Oh, okay. That's that's the culture that's, on film, just like I mean, the, just like I referenced N.W.A. and the different records they made. If you listen to it. When Cube was with him, there was a cause and effect. Okay. You did this, and then you got a just reward for what you did, which in the end, you get shot down if you're a drug dealer. That's what it says in the record. All right. Right? So, same thing with the Mac, Superfly, all those classic movies. People should watch those movies. The generation should know because the information agreed, agreed. was put there for you. Imaging was put there for us. I agree. The information was put there mm -hmm. too, not well, to run. Man, well, not I, I, to run. I, I respect that, but you know, it's flight or flight, uh, flight or fight. But if I could add a different, which which comes off of what emotion? Fear. Fear. So it's okay. best to stand in. Well, at the time, you got a fifty fifty chance if you stand in. It's true, true. Sometimes, but uh, when Two of Flight came out, being a young older here, I was of the age where a lot of people said they were glorifying a lifestyle, pimping and drugging. Okay, the new movie, what my point would be prefacing that is, a few months ago, all these Negroes was taking all kind of watches and taking families to go see the Black Panther. Mm -hmm. Some on this couch loved it. I right, said, so like, come on, I even told you, Black Panther's going to be white in a minute. And I told you, Superfly, go back and check out our earlier podcast, was coming out. And I submitted then that even though it will not break records, box office or cinematic whatever, that Wakanda will probably be recognized for in its false imaging. This movie will have more impact on the black community because it's going to make its way through the black community. And some of those images are going to be, as I said, professed and pimping and drugging and getting that's the way to get ahead. While it may be indicative of the lifestyle today of some folks, its impact is going to be more than the Wakanda stuff everybody, all these niggas was talking about. Because wait a minute, Shaft is coming back out too. So what they're actually doing, if you look at it, is they're going back to the future. They're taking us back with all these old movies to lead us into the future of non-resistance and passivity and drugs. And we see it happening in America right now. The opioid explosion, there's no control over in the Middle East, so it's just a minute for heroin makes its way back because it's cheaper than opioids and things of that nature. And in addition to all that, the music is letting them go crazy. Now, when I was a kid and I saw Superfly, it had some images for me that were important. He was a businessman, albeit a pharmaceutical, a street pharmaceutical, but he was a businessman. He had to worry about his product. He had to worry about his employees who were turning on him. He had to worry about his business ethics with the cops and the mafia. But what was his main point? What was the whole main point? So of the he game? had gotten fed up and wanted to get out of the he game. He wanted to get out. But the, the way game. he got out of the game was to pull off the big deal. The big mm. deal. The big deal. And then like yeah. all these other predicated movies, Sugar Hill... Uh, New Jack City. Yeah, I was gonna say, where else have I seen uh, this? This is the same image. It's always to you that last one to get out. And I <laughs> yeah. But with Superfly, what we saw was the imaging of successful businessmen. As I said, you worry about all those things. I don't know if they'll incorporate that into his, if that will be understood by today's youth. 
because that was all that was open to us at that time. Was because it was before rap, so there wasn't a lot of rap options, and it was before big basketball, or big football. Back then, niggas was playing for nothing. So the drugs and the pimping in a big city like he was does something for the image. The same way now they use Atlanta as the high point. Those niggas in Atlanta are really ass out, while unemployment in America is way up. Unemployment in the black community is still running stagnant. And to the youth who will see that, who can say that I can sell drugs, I can push poo poo, I can get white women. That's what they win. Like, you know, he got the white women in the first movie. I was like, woo. But he was also, if you look at it kind of John Wayne ish in the movie, because he was able to secure whatever he needed. I'm talking about the original movie, My Man Priest, he was able to secure his own safety and freedom because of the knowledge of the corruption that he had on other individuals. And he was able to contract other individuals and say, if anything happens to me. So in that aspect, he got to walk off or drive off in that fat-ass Lincoln, like John Wayne used to ride away off the plantation. Uh, um, he got uh, to, the hero walks off into the sunset. Black Caesar. Black Caesar. Hell up in Harlem. All of those movies, they were they were successful to, in my imaging, as you're saying, because these Cotton were, comes to Harlem. Well, that wasn't, that was funny. But they need to, they're going to remake that too. But my point is, they're going back to the future. They're going to, how, how, if you're looking back, how do you get to the future roles? They don't want no more, they don't want any more Wakanda well, roles. Well, you have to look back to the past to know where you're going. Mm -hmm. Not some yes. Yes. I understand, that. I understand that. No, you have to respect no, the past. No. But you don't no. go back and make those movies. See, what no, they're no. doing is they're, they're eroding away at Wakanda because that imaging lifted us. This imaging is going to degradate us. And it's not going to be the box office success of Wakanda. I can feel but that. the imaging I mean, is going to be more done. important because I'm going to identify as a young black kid. Mm -hmm. We're pimping, and I'm going to use the music to pimp. I, you know, I know he uses a little music aspect. I want to be a record producer. And all of it is a non consequential stuff, in as much as whatever they were doing to get them arrested. It wasn't anything about I'm going to go to school. I'm going to learn how to drive a truck. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do something constructive that's going to be a pension oriented thing. Learn how thing. to do a truck and work for someone else. See, yeah, but sell drugs. Have my hair processed. All right, first off, he has hair processed. Uh, that, that's the Jerry curl. Watch it come back. Watch it come back. And I'm saying that that movie on the, the less op opportunistic-minded Negro who says, well, I can't, Wakanda, I can't do. Um, but I could be Franklin, a priest. Franklin, honestly. Uh -oh. Really, really, honestly. Uh -oh. Honestly, the question you said, all this, and the only opportunities that people had, what has changed? Uh, I will tell you, we get to sit here and do this podcast. Mm -hmm. I will tell you that each of us here in our own way has manifested ourselves to educate ourselves not to have to sell drugs, not to have to pimp women, not to have to push the music on somebody else to try to pimp them to do what you oh, want to okay. do. Okay, so, so that's like the look at me, look at Bill Cosby, look no, at Oprah. If they can mm -hmm, do mm -hmm. it, then you should be able no, to no. do it. But you're coming from a household where your mom could be on some kind of narcotic or so that's or, what I'm going to do. Or, 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 or your mom is single and she's bringing all kinds of dudes in the house and they're not only messing with you, but they're messing with your sister too. Wait, all right. Okay, that's wait, the, wait, that's wait, the smallest wait, 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 percentage. Wait, 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 and that's, how, that's the movies that they give us. Wait a minute. That's the movies they give us. No, not the movie. Mm. You're walking down the street oh. and you're headed to school. See, that's and, the and the neighborhood. What, what did we talk about as far as the historic West and what's going on and how the money was pulled out the historic West. By the Negroes who lived there. By the Negroes who lived there. And these are those images you just gave us. Those are the images Hollywood has given us unto Wakanda. I'm in trouble. I got it. I'm pregnant. I'm trying to overcome. I'm the help. I'm the mathematician on the science project. I built rocket ships. Yeah, yeah, all of that. Those are the movies they gave us unto Wakanda. But, and but now so they're not they, going to give us another they, set of uplifting movies. But they gave, but they gave us Wakanda. Man, that was nothing. That was to but, set but, you but, up. What, what that's Back is, to the Future. That was to set you up to bring you down by bringing you Superfly, you said, by bringing you Bad Boys Five, by bringing you Shaft. They're going back to the lead us to the future. If, no. if you said, if you said that they gave us those films, they gave us Wakanda. No, 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 Spike Lee is bringing out right. uh, the X movie. Black right. 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 right, they're not right. From, how many how many black organizations are taking their kids to see that? What movie is it? Black Klansman. Black it's about it's a about, true story. It's about, it's about a police officer who a black police officer mm -hmm. infiltrated the Ku Klux Klan on the in phone. the seventies. 
you, on the phone and he used a white police officer to go it. undercover right. to do it. And they thought that it was him and that's how he busted the Ku Klux Klan within that particular area. But how many the that, where's the hundred black men? I'm not putting them down. I'm not putting any groups down. I'm just saying that. Let's see if the hundred black men take a hundred black kids to see that. Mm -hmm. Let's see if the churches do that. Let's see if we are fan fed out with Wakanda and I've been putting out some of my friends that have seen it five or six times okay. <laughs> put their ass on Facebook in the movie theater. Right. So right. I'm not saying nothing bad against you but as I said go back to those earlier podcasts. Who's, I told you these movies were coming. Okay, okay. Whose fault is that that the people rose or raised the money to take the kids to go see Wakanda if it's such a problem? Who Whose fault is that that people went to go see Wakanda more than they would go see Thorough Good Marshall? Which... I mean, I'm so not saying who's, that who's, who's fault is it's that? our fault. Negro's fault. No, no, no. no. Those are different. people's fault. No, no. Negro's in general because we have to take it as we're going to take it. If we're going to give it out to all white people, we're going to take it as all Negro's. Mm -hmm. That's the reality of nothing but the facts. But the reality is, hey, if you supported it, cool. You're not saying don't. I'm with the image. But also recognize those images can change and can be controlled. And that's why we have, even though Superfly is probably great. And I, I tell you, I loved it. He was a hero to me. All of those movies, all of those movies because they saw black men doing something to get up. Whether it was drugs, whether it was the numbers, whether it was the gambling. I love when Fred Williamson punched that white man in the face. That said something to me. I went to school the next week. I was, man, ooh, I was ready. I knew hey, it. One of the favorite movies I love is Dolomite. Man, Dolomite, not, Human right. Tornado. Right. Rudy Ray <laughs> Moore. Rudy, 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 Rudy Ray Moore, to me, he, he, he won. He got over on the people who were... No doubt. Trying to and those, but those do weren't him those, in. those weren't uplifting movies. Trust they me, weren't. they were in. No, Dolomite was not. The, 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 come on, Dolomite. He won, didn't he? What do you mean? Well, anyway, the, banging the fat white sheriff, jumping out there naked. He, he, he won. Up there making, no, I don't know if he won. He I would won, say that the images that they created can be to our detriment, much like Superfly in name. You know, Ryan O'Neill played a great. He was a great actor. Played a lot of different roles, just like this guy. Process will be back. Your generation will process the hair again. No, no, listen. Mm -hmm. listen. Which, process. Which, yeah. which, 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 listen. Listen. Ron O'Neill was in an interview, and you should go see this on Black Reels. It's on YouTube. It's a black-owned uh, person who interviews. Uh, black-owned. Black Reels is a black-owned company that interviews different stars. And he said he interviewed Ron O'Neill. Mm -hmm. I seen interviews with Ron. And Ron O'Neill said that the only reason why black exploitation was called black exploitation was because there was a, a president of the L.A. chapter of the NAACP who we'll also owned right. a marketing firm, mm -hmm. a promotions marketing firm, and he did not get the... He was bidding for the contract for mm -hmm. Superfly. He didn't get it, so then he turned on it and said that it was trash and coined the phrase black exploitation, and this is how this negative line concerning right. black movies, this through line that has permeated up through to 2018 well, no, no. from the early 70s started was because a man did not get the uh, he did not get the money for uh, get right, the marketing right. job yeah, for yeah. Superfly and this is why this is per <laughs> this line is permeating through to 2018 because okay. this man from the you NAACP said it, you LA, said that LA, I just want to put it through to people what, what you believe but, but is done reality, because somebody didn't mm, get money no, no. which all wraps around back to the same mm -hmm. thing drug dealing uh, not knowing what to do pimping all that this man start Okay. Point something that was supposed to be a, a urban back. western where he rides off into the sunset. Mm -hmm. He takes it and turns it because okay. he didn't get money. Okay. He okay. calls everything after listen. that black exploitation. So that's where that through line of thought comes that from, and came. that would okay. mean that that line of thought is actually wrong. Okay. Exactly. It, which means that if that through line is wrong, then that means that the hip hop music people who told talked about too true true. Street tales. That same line was moved over from black exploitation over to this and calling it gangster rap. That through line of consciousness is wrong because it came from a guy who did not get money. Okay, I I, I appreciate that theory, but at the same time, I take no I no, take, no let, let's stop I take right pride, there. No, I take pride let's in right the black black sort of things. I take pride in that. Let's not let's because let's what stop. happens is the same thing. I happens. can't I can't have Duke me on that look. I'm a person, I never sold dope, I never 
misuse women. Never did none of that. Never, never played no, one. never, never, played no games. One. never, never did sold that, right? one. Never sold one, never <laughs> used, never smoked, never did none of that. But un American. But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I because I love my people, once I find out that a that a thought process is wrong, I'm going to disregard that thought right. process because mm -hmm. within those films are gems and the reason why the that. youth are the way they are is because they haven't even seen those films. That's your history I'm not just on I agree, film. I agree, but the, the coining of the name, black Very exploitation, true. we could probably explain because they're saying they, the NAACP did the same thing, similar with Step and Fetch It and all those other characters, and even with Amos and Andy. They got it off the air because they said the images, what we now call cultural appropriation, could be stereotyped negatively. They crushed. They crushed uh, Uncle Remus. The um, song in the South. They didn't him. crush that. They, they, Disney, Disney still shows that shit. No, no, no. They don't. They, they pulled all that. Huh. They show. They show the individual stories. You got to go on YouTube where people uh, put it up. But uh, they like, show the hey, individual trust me, yeah, stories. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. They, but they, as they far as that, that actor who died young at forty-seven, who was an uh, uh, accomplished, yeah, Uncle Remus, the mm -hmm. accomplished actor, he couldn't get any roles. They Black ball. No, he, they understood that because of the image that he portrayed in that movie, which symbolically is the same thing. Some of the images in the black exploitation era of film, and I recognize it was coined by a white man, but so is everything else that we do in this country. Basketball goes basketball because a white man called it that. I'm no, not I, against I'm that. Just, I, I'm, I understand it. But even, even as you made the, the, the inclination as that far because as it's I knew it, called a white man named it, it's something I, we shouldn't no, have. No, as far as I knew it, uh, the way Ron O'Neill told it, it was a black man that coined the phrase. Well, I well, it's, it's hard to... It's, it's, neither here nor there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's he had influence. The, okay, okay so now. The movie has still Simo. speak for Let's ask Simo. No, no, no. Let's ask Simo. Let's ask Simo. I mean, he didn't see Black Panther yet, man. No, let's listen. You see Black Panther yet? I see Black Panther, yeah. All right, man. You got to get with us, man. Get with us, man. One time, no. But listen. So I, 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 I hear you guys saying these characters, I don't know who they are. No, no, not the characters. I know Uncle Ruckus not, not the movies. That's Uncle Ruckus. Ruckus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Uncle Remus and Uncle Ruckus, two different people. Opposite, but I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of hater, hater, lover of all people. <laughs> Okay. Isn't that what it is? I don't know. I don't wasn't know. wasn't Uncle Remus under meritorious manumission? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was the slave. My, he was, he was not. Slave. He was the lead this, this slave. Was, this, was not, Cooper this was not. This was not. He was Sword not a slave. Himself. This was doing Jim Crow. Sword he was himself. not a slave. He was a slave. My oh my what? Okay. He was one of the freest slaves I ever saw walking around in plenty of sunshine headed my way. Old black John. Okay, okay look. So this, 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 is yeah. this is my point. This is my point. Okay, not, not the character, but if you know the imaging. And now, wait a minute, wait a minute. If you know that the term black exploitation came from a man who did not oh. get. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm asking him a question. <laughs> this time. I'm asking him a question. I'm just asking him a question because we had to get it from the youth what they think. If you know that the term black exploitation came from a man who did not get money to do the marketing and promotion on the film and he was upset about it and it was uh, supposed to be marketed as a urban western where the guy rides off into the sunset just like a, a cowboy a white cowboy rides off into the sunset and, and you know that right mm -hmm. and you know how this whole thing has permeated and it's been a through line since the wow. 70s all the way up through the day and somehow it has shifted over to rap music. Every person that does rap music, no matter what, is a thug. They're doing mm. not black Bruno exploitation Mars. now. Okay. But Bruno Mars is not doing hip hop. Sure he but he's doing, sure he he's doing, he's sure doing he cultural appropriation. Same but thing. Listen, ah! listen, <laughs> listen. So when you but but he's but he's revered for it. And Chris Brown is down he for it. Superfly. Now, so my point is, when you know that that's a through line. What can you say? About, what can, what do you say about that? <laughs> There's a lot to say. Because you're an MC. That. You're an MC. Yeah. Does you that make be, a difference no, no to you, No matter what type of music you do, you are put into that box, box that yeah. you do. You are a rapper, which is translated to a thug, which is black exploitation, yeah, still, which oh, came from man. this. You're, so so come what, on now. Yeah, yeah. So so what do you what, what, what do do? when you hear that? And that's the that's the truth. That's a fact. That's not fiction. Nothing but the facts, y'all. Nothing but the facts. Nothing, like, honestly, there's nothing much you can do, man, but keep 
just keep trying to break out of that box. If they, somebody can gonna put you in a box, the next person's gonna see you as, oh, you know, you're such a creator. Like I really see through what you, what you're doing. You're a rapper, but 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 you, but you don't you don't just rap on all your songs, man. You you, you sing in some of them. So it's just about it's just about people are gonna put you in a box, man. I would I would just keep creating, man. Just keep creating, man. And there's no box like to me to me there's no box as an artist. There's no box. That's why it's hard to answer that question. There's no box for me, man. There's no box for other rappers. They could they could be the tatted up, uh, 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 po- uh freaking rainbow haired colored motherfuckers. That's good. But but <laughs> but at the same time, that p- people don't think they're in a box. They're, they're putting themselves in like a category. You got the category of these guys. You got your category of these guys. The, but everyone will say that they're not in a box. That they look the same. That's why it's hard to say. I'm not in the box. I don't look like these niggas. But these niggas who all look like each other. They don't worry, bro. Keep going, man. Just keep it real. It came from us, not them. They can't say it. The, the, these they dudes who all look like each other, man. They can't. The, the only box they sit in is they they look alike. Like, physically. So I don't Superfly, know, go see it. Make your go own determinations. It. Because it is a hero story. If you look at it, like I said, he was a businessman. I don't care what they called it. The imaging of what that is, I don't always take and do think for myself like you do, and he does. If you go see it, he's a businessman. He's worried about his clients. He's worried about his products. He's worried about his brand. He's worried about his employees, of course, who turn on him. He's worried about his woman. He's worried about his family. He's worried about the mafia. He's worried about the cops. He's worried about the whole imaging of it. So, yes, and at the end, I believe in the original, he did get to get away he Probably. rides off in the sunset. In the badass and, and, and believe me, when you see the end of the new Superfly, you will say, yeah, he did that. But anyway. Well, we was talking about the box, right? Let's go back to the box. Say box. Ready to go to the box? You know. Oh, man. Yeah, Here calling. we go again. Yeah, call is calling Every time. Man, call calling us. you. But uh, I got to Your handlers that. are calling. Yeah, they said, that's enough. We'll, we'll back. We'll, we'll do we we are figure alive. out. They got the kids in the box. <laughs> they got these kids who have come over. Who's 45 and said now with sessions the biblical term if you listen to your masters and obey the laws of the land you'll be rewarded with the everlasting here in the kingdom of kindness mm-hmm. whatever that is anyway they've taken these babies from parents now how, how, how I mean babies I, I even a four, uh-huh. how's a four or five year old gonna say that's my mommy that's my daddy they got them all locked down it's just madness we may have to segue into a new episode because the audio stopped. I think my computer got full. It's been 40 minutes. We talked With about just 40 minutes? Talking about Superfly. <laughs> All right, and well, it stopped at 40 minutes? It stopped at 40 minutes. After we talked when did it stop at? After we talked about Superfly. So it, it's already stopped recording. Yeah, so. Let's, okay, let's, well, good. Uh, then we can, let me go get my phone. See what that was. That made me my car guy. Telling me I can come get it. And I can get it we are live, people. We are live. We don't bullshit with you. That's right. So we're standing here. How many people watching us? I don't know. No one now. Three no. three was watching us for a long time. They say, so, they say some comments. No. Jefferson. Uh, uh, okay, nothing. They're watching us right now. Roland, Tamika, Mary Ann. Pat. Who? Yeah, stop. Uh, Roland, Tamika, and some. Terry so we have now. taken a break, people. You know. Okay, I gotta delete something. We will be right back after these brief after this brief intermission. So you stay tuned. And we shall be back shortly.